For a dramatic rescue here, caught on video by our camera crews. A semi truck tumbles off of a bridge, spilling hundreds of cans and soda bottles onto the streets while trapping the driver inside. It happened on the 15 freeway in Fontana. NBC 4's Tony Shin live at the scene with more on the rescue drama and that huge cleanup. Tony. Yeah, Michael, I was out here during that dramatic rescue, standing just a few feet away as it unfolded. I got to tell you, I was amazed that the driver survived this horrific crash. Now, take a look behind me. You can see that workers are still out here cleaning up this big mess. CHP investigators say the cause of the crash is still under investigation, but speed may have been a major factor. Yes. Somewhere in that crushed fiberglass and metal is the driver of this Pepsi semi truck. San Bernardino County firefighters say at around 11:30 this morning, the truck veered off the 15 North and plummeted over the side of the Cherry Avenue overpass. The truck landed upside down with one occupant, the driver, uh, pinned in the driver's seat. Thankfully, the driver was awake and alert, but he was badly injured, so time was critical. Firefighters from all angles, including under the semi, tried to crawl inside the cab in a desperate attempt to carefully and safely free the driver from the sharp metal that surrounded him. Your feet or your knees or your hips are caught by those small shards, and so there's that always that possibility that we might be able to reach through the frame and into the cab after it's been turned upside down. Some drivers stop to see all the hundreds of soda bottles littering Cherry Avenue. But their attention quickly turned to the rescue. Hopefully, he gets to go home to his family and, and, and just be good and be safe, and hopefully, he's all right. Yeah, just let them know he's out. We're just strapping him down. Roughly 45 agonizing minutes later, rescuers were finally able to free the driver and carry him to safety. Okay, let's get him off that on a truck. What Bloody and bruised, the victim was talkative and responding to firefighters who were assessing the extent of his injuries. He was then airlifted to a nearby trauma center, leaving firefighters relieved to have finally freed him from this semi-truck cab, which was so badly damaged, it looked like a crushed soda can. It's insane how, how quick they move into action and, you know, they're just doing their job, doing what they do the best. Now, the 48-year-old driver was taken to Loma Linda University Medical Center. That's where he is recovering from multiple major injuries. That's the latest from here. Reporting live in Fontana, I'm Tony Shin, NBC4 News. All right.